Good morning and welcome to the channel, The Vaping Piper. Uh, we, as you know, on Sundays we go to, we, my wife and I make a communal barbecue. Um, staff come, members of family, friends, and we all gather together. And uh, yeah, everyone brings something with. My wife normally marinates all the meats. She's an expert, and uh, one of the guys actually is a professional barbecue. Um, he's a chef, I think, in profession. Anyway, um, yeah, it's delicious, and it is very um, lively in all sorts of discussions. And uh, yeah, it's very important. We we are so we love it so much that we try very hard to keep it every Sunday. On occasion we miss out, but yeah, we try to keep it regularly. Um, so much so that when I want to go away, everyone's complaining, oh, it won't be no barbecue this week, how can you do that? Yeah, make us feel very guilty. So <laughs> anyway, we love it. Um, so what was going, so I, in those occasions, I do smoke a, a pipe uh, and the barbecue. And I was smoking uh, my favorite um, vapor, the Salty Dogs, the Virginia Perique, uh, this one here. Anyway, um, to cut the story short, I, I've got this little, um, well, I call it a mason jar made out of metal. I bought it from Smoking Pipes with one of my orders. I think I will mention it, in one, uh, or I mentioned it already, I think, in one of my first looks that either you watched it already or not. We'll see how it, uh, when it gets uploaded. But anyway, I mentioned this one. It's a very good carry in your pocket. It can hold quite a lot of tobacco and it keeps it very fresh. It's made out of metal and it's got this, uh, you know, like, like a mason jar. Um, it's got this one with the silicon and here's the tobacco. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is the TVP blend. So I was smoking the Salty Dogs. Now, I normally uh, fill this up to the rim, enough for a few bowls, not for me, for other people. Uh, now, everyone was taking uh, to fill up the bowls and they didn't actually notice that I haven't filled up my bowl yet. And they left me uh, enough for maybe a half a bowl. Uh, yeah, something like that. I didn't want to make them feel bad uh, because they're already smoking it. So what could you do? You can't take it out from the bowl. So I said, oh, by the way, does anyone here have got a, a vapor, um, some kind of blend with Virginia and Perique? So um, one of the guys said, yeah, I've got a bit of uh, all the golden slice. I said, oh, um, give it to me. She says, why should I give it? You've, you, you like your salty dogs? I said, yeah, well, it's just fancy mixing. What should I tell him? I didn't have enough. Anyway, so what happened was I mixed uh, the all the golden slice, uh, this one here, with uh, the salty dogs. And guess what? Delicious blend. So what I've done is, uh, I will show you, I recorded this morning a uh, quick video how I've done it. So let's go have a look. So here I've got the Olek Golden Slice. Um, this one here. And I've got it in my mason jar. Um, I already shredded it and in here I've got the salty dogs um, that as well I shredded so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix them together 50 50 so we'll try say um, 10 gram each I suppose just to give it a start and see how it goes um, so let's switch this unit on and uh, so now what we want to do is empty this out because it will uh, weigh this dish as well. So we don't want that. So I'll just put this in a tray for now. And get it fairly empty. 
So this is 14 gram. So we're going to limit that, make that to zero. So now anything I add would be the right weight. Okay, here we've got five gram, right? So now we we'll put this aside and we'll do the same thing with um, the salty dogs. Um, we've got now exactly two of the same measure um, five gram so what we're going to do is we'll put them both in the tobacco tree and what we'll do is now is give it a good mixing okay so I'm going to carry on mixing this properly and uh, yeah let's go back on top and let's talk about this blend shall we right see you in just one second yeah so i've got now in uh i put it in here whatever i had in the trays it kind of around around 10 gram or more a bit more and yeah it's all shredded sorry about my uh plaster i cut myself the other day um all shredded and mixed very well and the smell is divine salty dogs is one of my all-time favorites and the olic is comes second to this um yeah because it's not so much perique in here it is mainly virginia but the virginia is a very fruity but the fruitiness of the salty dogs is no beating uh, even the spicy perique has got some fruity notes in it. It is an amazing blend. Um, so now the, the mixture is outstanding. So what I've done is I filled up my LCS Briar um, pipe, beautiful pipe. And I reviewed it in full. I can't remember even what number it is, but yeah, very good, good nice pipe. And I put in a half a bowl of this um, this blend and let's light it and talk about it you can do it very easily yourself as I've done it 50 50 on this yeah more or less uh, Wow Wow I tell you it enhances the blends, both blends. Yeah, it's quite moist. I prefer it moist in any case. I prefer relighting than having dry tobacco. Dry tobacco is can be a big problem because it can take away a lot of the flavors if you overdo it. So better relight a few more times than leave it dry. That's my policy, yeah. So, in order to capture this enhancement, I wrote some notes. I don't normally do, but I felt it is important for me to write down my first impression. Because when I smoked the day in the barbecue, I was, everyone was saying, I was like sort of thinking to myself, I was, yeah. Uh, d disconnected from the surroundings and concentrating on that blend and I said to someone give me a pen and paper quickly and I wrote down some notes of my experience and I wrote down as, I wrote down as follows the, the only golden slice adds tangy notes and the salty dogs adds earth, fruitiness, and spice, resulting in a mellow and fruity smoke with additional spice and earthy notes and generally more depth to the blend. And that's what it is. The blend is is got some much more depth to it now. 
uh, a bit uh, the spiciness of the uh, salted dogs is sort of mingling a bit with the spicy with a little bit of perique that's in the olic and the two virginias the very fruity virginia of the salty dogs and the dried fruitiness of the olic it's just a perfect match and it came by chance really well everything comes from god really but you know what i mean um uh, it's just i just added it because i didn't have enough to fill up a bowl and it was sort of half half because i had a half of uh salty dogs and i took i filled up the bowl with another half of olic and sort of i mixed it uh in the bowl sort of mixed it so it wasn't sort of salty dogs in the bottom half and olic in the top half no then there's no benefit really I gave it a good mix and very impressed with the result. There's a lot more music to this blend now. I'm not sure how to describe it well more than I described the already. That's why I put down the notes. It is more depth. Uh, fruitier not not so much fruitier but a different style it's more like sort of dried fruit and general fruitiness uh much more tangy uh the sweet note is more pronounced I actually i forgot to, to put that in my notes and it's sort of a bit more mellow in a way a mellow and fruitier with additional spice ah come on this is this you know it is you need to let it dry because this is really cut flake uh really it's not rib it's pieces and yeah but i yeah just really light and i'm talking too much as well if i puff on it it would be all right so yeah this is being piped by blends What do you say about that, eh? Let me just close. I want to stay fresh. So, you can try this at home. The way I did it. It doesn't have to be exactly 50-50, but that's the way I've done it. And it is a delicious blend. And this type of blend, I can smoke all day long. Without, if I were to smoke the pipe all day long, that would be my blend. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. Well, after that happened, I told them all what I've done. And they didn't feel really bad about it, actually. They said, oh, wow, Nathan, you discovered a new mix. We're going to all do it, try and do it ourselves. And uh, yeah, everyone's talking about it. Everyone loves it. So, I already gonna prepare for the coming Sunday a quite a nice amount because I've got a lot of uh, salty dogs. I get them in Germany for very cheap, six, seven euros. And um, yeah, and the Ole Golden Slice as well is very cheap in Europe, in Germany. And now you can get them in England, but it's gonna cost you a lot of money in England. And I think they only got the 50 gram tins, not the 100 gram tins. and. I think the 100 gram tins taste better than the 50 gram, interesting enough. Don't know why, but that's what it is. So I can make myself um, quite a lot of this blend mixture. Yeah, I've got this in the jar. This is the Orlik. I've got quite a few. And the salty dogs. Lovely tobacco. So imagine the smell of this. Well, if you got one of these mm, with the Orlick, you could just imagine the, the smell that it produces. And the room note is also not bad at all. It's a delicious smell. Oh, if you can smell this, 
you will agree. Mm. Lovely. You take two good blends and mix them together. Not everything works, but this worked. And I would never have thought of mixing it. It just happened that I did. And I'm very happy I did. Anyway, you let me know. If you try this, you let me know what you think. I would love to hear the results. Oh, lovely. Really nice. Anyway, so this was the video of today. What do you think of that? Okay, I hope it was beneficial to you and you can try it and let me know in the comments what do you think. Um, and if it is uh, delicious to you, well, enjoy it. Okay, so this was from, from me for today and I'll see you guys in the next time. Uh, hopefully very soon in the next video. Until then, enjoy whatever you're smoking. Stay healthy. Bye-bye for now.